The Pultney River meanders along the Vermont-New York border for almost 40 miles before flowing into southern Lake Champlain. Abundant fish and wildlife and diverse natural communities in the lower Pultney River watershed make it a treasured place for hunters, anglers, wildlife watchers, and naturalists. But to some ecologists, the Pultney is most appreciated for some of its least known inhabitants, particularly the many species of freshwater mussels that pass their lives largely unseen in the bed of the river. Um, that's an eastern lamp mussel. Another eastern elliptio. Keeping tabs on mussels is not easy, and for decades they have flown largely under the radar screen of most wildlife management and conservation organizations. But that's slowly beginning to change. Being out in a river looking for them is kind of like an Easter egg hunt. It's, it's kind of neat. You'll walk around in the river, you look for them, you find them. You're never quite sure what you're going to find. For Paul Marangelo, a conservation ecologist with the Vermont chapter of the Nature Conservancy, Studying freshwater mussels is both a personal passion and a good way of monitoring the health of rivers like the Lower Pulteney. Mussels are a great indicator <laughs> of habitat quality. Whatever kind of degradations have occurred in aquatic habitats such as rivers are usually reflected in mussel populations in some way. I would describe them as a really good kind of canary in the coal mine in terms of looking at habitat quality in freshwater. Aha! <laughs> the pocket book. Aha, here's a fluted shell. Well, we got another black sand shell here. I'd like to find a live one. Aha! This is a shell of a um, giant floater. This is also from the state endangered list. During our survey, we collected live mussels from five different species that appeared to be doing well in the river but we could only find the shells of three others whose numbers might be declining. Several of the 12 mussel species in the Pultney are on the state endangered list, including the aptly named pink heel splitter. So Paul, with the descriptive name of these guys, it's external with the heel splitter up top, the sharp little razory spine, right. and the pink is the inside of the shell. Right, that's the name. That's pretty. Yeah, it is. 